How's it going guys? It's Root Junkie here with RootJunkie.com and I'm gonna go ahead and shed and show you guys a little something cool. This is gonna be on my Motorola Droid Ultra, also the same as the Droid Max. Um, let's go ahead and turn this device in. There you go. So first off, you can see this device does have an unlocked bootloader and that is a huge thanks to uh, Jay Case and his Sunshine app. Get this thing unlocked. Here you go, you're going to see the uh, custom boot animation right here. This is for Pac-Man ROM. So today's video is going to be about how to install Pac-Man ROM on your device. Once you get an unlocked bootloader and you get a custom recovery installed, I have both those videos if you haven't done that yet. And we're going to talk about it. First of all, let me go through the ROM. Alright, so here you go, this is Pac-Man ROM. Something I'm going to point out to you, and the only problem I really have with this ROM, and I'll show you what it is, but I'll show you how to fix it also, so don't worry. Um, and you'll see it right off the get-go. I unlock, and obviously you're going to see it. Do you notice it? You have two rows of icons, uh, navigation keys. Do you see them? The bottom ones actually do not function. Only the on-screen navigation keys actually function. Um, because, basically all the development that's there for the Ultra and the Max are basically ROMs that are made for the Moto X. So, that being said, we have these pesky annoying keys in the bottom and it looks really bad. So, this is what I show you how to do with this. So once you get the Pac-Man ROM installed, which we will go over here, but first I'm going to go ahead and show you how to deal with this headache. Best thing you can do is install Exposed Framework right here. Get this installed. If you've never seen Exposed Framework, I have tons of videos on it, and uh, it'll walk you through this, and even walk you through how to install this application. Um, and I'll probably put you a link to Exposed Framework installs and stuff like that in the video description. So basically, what you're going to do is go ahead and you're going to download Gravity Box. Once you get it installed and all that set up, you're going to go to Display Tweaks, and you're going to scroll down here to Button Backlit Mode and you're going to disable button backlit. So, you can see now, those are actually still there, but at least they're not backlit, and at least they aren't confusing you to try to push them. Um, it makes it so that the on-screen buttons make more sense. Um, so once you get that, that's really where you wanna be. Uh, and, and like I say, you can still make them out, they're still technically printed on the glass there, but they're not gonna be backlit, and you're not gonna confuse them near as much, and it's not gonna look quite as funny. So, there you go. That is what I do, and it gets you a nice setup here for Pac-Man ROM. This is a really cool ROM. I love using this. I'm so happy that the Droid Ultra finally has some cool mods and ROMs on it now that we have it unlocked and full access to this thing. Motorola has been locked down for so long, I'm pretty excited about this. So, let me go ahead and just show you some of it. Got your pull down here, notifications, all your standard stuff in here. You do have Torch. Uh, it turns on the LED on the back for like a little flashlight setup and all your other options as well. Battery and all that kind of goodies. Let's go ahead and shoot into settings really quick and I'm just going to do a quick scan over here. So this is all your standard settings. Right in here, this personalization stuff, this is a lot of your customization along with advanced settings, Pac-Man settings, and we'll go through those as well. You also have buttons, which is really nice. So um, in here you can set up what you want on your reboot menu which is this menu that comes up right here. Pick your options that you like to be displayed there. Um, and then you have uh, power button and it's calls if you want to turn that on. And a whole bunch of other little quick settings in here. But then you have button layout. And here is where you can actually rearrange so your buttons are changing down there. So maybe I like my back button on the close side instead of the far side of the phone. You can do that. You can add buttons. So here it adds an extra button. Um, and then you can go ahead and choose what you want to do, diff do different things like that. Or you can remove it. Very good. And again, like I said, you can rearrange things and put them back the way they were. There you go. So very, very cool. Definitely awesome to see some stuff like that in here for buttons. Otherwise, the rest of this is very much standard as you go down. One thing you can do is you can turn on uh, developer settings, which actually opens up a bunch of things in here. Just come in here and tap on the build number a whole bunch of times. It'll turn on developer settings. 
which is going to pop up and give you this option right here, these settings, and it's also going to give you these performance things, which allow you to come in here and figure out some profile things, performance balance save, modes, different uh, CPU things for processor. You can come in here and tweak these, so you have your um, min and max, so minimum CPU, scrolls all the way up to that, maximum, and you can go ahead and do your min max CPU settings and all that kind of good stuff in here as well, which is very, very nice. Now, before I get into the other deeper settings here for Pac Man ROM, we'll go ahead and look through the app drawer really quickly again. This is what it comes with, pretty standard, besides the two exposed applications I installed. Here's another place you can get to Pack Performance, um, which is very nice, Torch little application, basic stuff. If you get the standard Google applications or the full size Google applications I have linked in the video description, this is what you're going to end up with. Let's go ahead and look at Pack Performance. So here, this is this stuff is gets so in depth that there's really a lot to a lot to look at here. So we'll just kind of scroll over really quick. So here's some information about your CPU, some kernel information, CPU status about your different cores, and you can see all that information in here. Memory status, more information, pretty cool. CPU again, different things you can adjust. Min max again. Um, governors, all those kinds of cool different things. Multi-core power saving. GPU, again, mess with that and its governors. IO schedulers, low memory killers. Again, if you want to come in here and really tweak this thing, you can do it. Build props, settings, custom commander, per app mode. It doesn't end. This thing has got so much, there's not even, you can't even go through it all. If you guys have ever installed Pac-Man, you'll know. you know what I'm talking about here. This thing's uh, loaded. So besides that, you do have themes. Again, this is just like a CM11, it's theme engine. And come in and do all kinds of fun theming. Download different themes from Google Play Store. Lock screen settings. Uh, it just goes on and on. Custom widgets, camera widgets, so on and so forth. Setting up what you want where on your lock screen. So we'll just go ahead and turn it off. Turn it back. And it just is going to have to do with all of these things. All your little hot buttons, you can see them. Uh, things like your camera up here, you can scroll over and open up. Um, all that kind of stuff. Everything in here is uh, pretty much seamless. Like I said, everything functions. The biggest problem was those buttons and turning off the backlit really does help it. Uh, let's keep going here. Status bar, so here's where you're going to come in, you're going to tweak all your stuff up here in the top. You can see I got a little percentage up there in my battery. Um, you can uh, do battery bar location, so we're going to say top. And some different cool things you can do with this. Let's see if I can get this battery bar to be on here. DP, one thickness, let's go two. Um, let's see. So it actually put the battery bar on the bottom. Let's go ahead and try adjusting that really quick and see what we can put at the top. Oh, top of nav bar. Okay. Bottom of nav bar. Okay, so there you go. Now I put it at the bottom. So there's your battery bar, and you can have all these fun adjustments on here for this kind of stuff. I mean, it just goes on and on. Different battery icons, all that goodies. Notification drawer. Background styles, you want weather in it, Wi-Fi name, swipe detection, I mean, it's it's loaded. It's definitely loaded. You want customization on your phone, this is the way to do it right here. Especially if you want to leave this uh, exposed module installed. This, again, is loaded and loaded with customizations here that you can do to your, to your phone and make this thing just insanely fun and cool. So there you go, guys. That is Pac-Man ROM. Um, on the Droid Ultra. So let's go ahead and talk about installing this. Now, to install this, you have to have an unlocked booter, you have to have Twerp Recovery installed. Um, I'm going to go ahead and boot into uh, Recovery. You can also get into Recovery the old fashioned way, but I'm going to use this, which you'd power off the device and do it that way. I'm going to go Reboot, Recovery. Okay. So normally you go ahead and Power off the device, and if you don't have a reboot to recovery thing or an app to do that, you would go ahead and hold your um, volume up and down and power, and then it boot into bootloader mode. You'd scroll down with volume down once to highlight recovery, and then up with volume one, volume 
volume up one time and it'll select recovery and you'll boot into recovery like this. Again, you have to have this already installed and I have videos on it. Definitely check them out at rootjunkie.com. You'll see all that good stuff. So, from here, first thing you want to do, if you're on stock, whatever you're on, you're going to want to take an Android backup. So you go to backup. Everything's checked. Swipe across and create an Android backup. Now, I have one right here that I just recreated the other day, so I'm not going to do that right now. Then the next thing you want to do is, well, before you wipe anything, you want to make sure you have the files on your device. I didn't talk about that. Again, I will link you to everything before you do any wipes. Make sure the files are already on your device. Download them. RootJunkiesDL.com. I'll have them listed. You'll see a link in the video description down below. Put them on your device. I can actually show you to you. File Manager. Mine are going to be in SD card downloads. Yes, they are. So I have pack dash ghost nightly. Now yours isn't probably going to be called ghost. It's probably called obic. I think I changed it. So you're going to want to have that. But it is a ghost ROM. Ghost is the Moto X, not the new one, the original one. So it works the same for these devices. And then these KitKat uh, Google applications right there again. Uh, you'll have links to both of them. So put it on your device, know where they're at before you, uh, you know, wipe your data out on anything. So we'll come in here to wipe data, effect reset. Just go ahead and swipe across. Does a wipe data effect reset. Gives you a clean in slate to install this. So then you go to installs. Navigate to where yours are at. Mine are downloads. I'm already here. Select the ROM, Pac-Man ROM. Add a zip. Select the KitKat zip Google applications. Two of them selected, and now you can flash across and install Pac-Man ROM on your Droid Ultra. There you go, Pac-Man or Pac-ROMs, and um, very, very cool, very cool ROM. Like I said, this thing runs just flawlessly for me, very, very smooth. I'm definitely, definitely digging it. There you go, the ROM actually installs very, very quickly. Right now, it's actually going ahead and installing, um, well, it's finishing the ROM. Now, it's going to install the Google applications. There it is. This process doesn't take long for the install. Um, your backup will take longer. Backup will take, you know, depending on how much you're backing up, could take, you know, 20 minutes, I guess, possibly, if you have a ton of files on your device. There you go. Install is done. Took about a minute. Reboot system. You're going to see that, again, that really cool Pac-Man round we saw on the beginning of the video. There's your unlocked bootloader warning. Again, thanks to Jay Case for his Sunshine app and getting these devices unlocked. Uh, I, I just love it for Motorola. I'm super excited about it. There it is. That's it, guys. That's my overview of Pac-Man ROM on the Droid Ultra, uh, Droid Max, any of those devices. Definitely loving it. Check it out for yourself if you like it. I uh, hope you guys like this in video. Stay tuned for more like it on this device, and we'll catch you guys next time. Root Junkie out. Yeah.